Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from code forces, problem named swap adjacent elements. So in this question, you are given that you have an array of A consisting of n integers and each integer is from 1 to n and it appears exactly 1 in this array. Okay, so all the elements from 1 to n are present in the array and for some indices it is possible to swap the ith element with the ith plus 1th element. Okay, like it is possible for some indices, not all. So you can perform any number of swapping for the operation for only those uh, like on which it is possible to swap. There is no limit on the number of times of swap, but you can swap the ith element with the ith plus one element. Can you make this array sorted in ascending order, performing some sequence of swapping? So as you can see in this example, if you can, one and two are already in its place. If you swap first these two places so this come here so first swap these two it will become 3 and 5 and then swap these two so it will become 4 and 5 and it will become sorted so if any of the ith place is 0 then you cannot swap i with i plus 1 so this indicates the first position you cannot swap but we have we want to swap these two positions this position and this position and as you can see these ones are available so we can sort them and such the answer is yes but in this the answer is no okay so let me take you to the example to understand more so what i have done here is i have written down the same question here and the indices and i so what we will do are do is we are i have also written down the indices here so we will move our pointer from start and whether this is at the right position, we can easily get that. How we can get that? Because all the numbers are from 1 to n. And thus the position of this number will be i plus 1. Okay. So if this number is equal to i plus 1, then it's good. If it's more than i, one, I plus 1, then it is not at its original place. And it has to go to the right because it is more. As you can see this, the i plus 1 is 3. So three, the th 3 should come here, but it is 5. So it should go to this place. Okay. So what does this mean? To go to this place, everything between this should be one. So this should be one and this should be one. Then only you can swap this and you can swap this. Then only it can go till here. Unless or not all this from this position to this position is not one. It will not go from there to here. I hope you understand. So that's the main thing. So we can take a maximum value which will store the maximum till this position okay so you can take a maxi which will store the maximum till this position so the maximum till this position is one okay so till this position is one and the index is i so you can take i plus one okay so now if i plus one if this position goes so if this maximum till now goes greater than i plus 1, then you have to shift. Okay. But if the position at that place in which we want to shift turns out to be 0, then we cannot shift it. So then the answer is no, because you cannot shift it any further. But if you shift, you can shift it. Then you move ahead and you can only check this condition such that the maximum till this position, when it reaches the end in which it want to reach, then it is good our maximum will change but before it our maximum will remain the same so let me go through the example the maximum till now is 1 and the i plus 1 is 1 so we will good to go the maximum till now is 2 and the i plus 1 is 2 so it's good to go then our maximum turns out to be 5 and the i plus 1 is 3 so this is not good so we will check whether this index is 1 yes this index is 1 so it's good now the i like the maximum till now here is 5 again and like this is turns out to be 4 and this is 5 so it's not good so 1 should be there yeah 1 is good but now the maximum till now is again 5 but because now the index is 4 plus 1 5 5 is good so this is not needed to be there so this is not required and now this is also 6 so this is good so I hope you understand in this case as you can see because only this one should be present and this one should be present this all those between one should not be present so what we will do the maximum till now is 2 and we will check that whether the first one is present or not yeah then the maximum till now is 2 again but 
as you can see though it is 0 but the i plus 1 value here is 2 only because the index of this is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 so we are good to go it means that we can swap it okay so this is the whole logic let's move down to the code and it will be more clear so what I have done is I have made this fault function in which I will take the input of n maximum till now and the array take the input of the array and the string as well then we will move down to the array find the maximum at the current position and we will check whether there is a if there is a zero at the position in which the maximum is greater than the i plus one so if the maximum becomes greater than the i plus one and we cannot even swap that position then it turns out to be no and we just return out because it's a function and if we come out of this for loop without encounter this no then the answer is yes and it's run perfectly fine i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye